Hello everyone. Um, okay, uh, in this video we'll explain the, the performance and um, the way you can do it in um, in TV and the way you can do you can do it in real life. So um, why in real life? Okay, because the the way I do it I did it in the performance uh, I was using this gimmick, but uh, with this gimmick you cannot do it actually in real life. Um, there are other ways to do it in real life, and um, which I'm gonna explain later. But this is how it actually works um, in the performance. I have the mark, black mark, right over here. But this is how um, this is where my elbow is supposed to be, because you know the camera director of this video, Enrique, um, uh, he he is the one who was actually sliding the gimmick right under my arm. And, um, and it's supposed to stop right here in the mark. And, um, and the smoke he, he actually used is a cigarette smoke, which um, is not to encourage people to smoke, actually it's the, the opposite. So when it stops, you know, the thumb between the, the, the middle and third finger, uh, I'm gonna cover the, 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 between the fingers. So the gimmick and the ring, which is supposed to be attached at the end, um, uh, it's gonna hide it from the camera perspective but when the gimmick goes in my hand so because it's clippy between my uh, second and third finger I can move it from side to side while the smoke is still producing uh, you know to do it in real life I don't I'm not gonna use smoke because to produce smoke usually magicians have it under the sleeve and I'm gonna teach you how you can do it in real life uh, without the sleeve and without using the smoke which don't matter but look um, Actually, you know, I don't know if you realize how bad is the cigarette smoke that um, after several tries um, you can see the pipe is completely yellowish um, and um, that's why I don't, I don't recommend anybody to use cigarette smoke and because the, you know the, the, the ring was a gold or a yellowish color so it doesn't really look um, so, so bad <laughs> from the camera a distance and um, that's why it's not too complicated it's just uh, you know one of those days you have to be lucky to to perform this trick and you know TV magicians uh, using camera cuts and good magicians but well, don't matter um, in my opinion it's not good to use camera cuts and sometimes if you do a camera cut you better have a good excuse to, to do a camera cut uh, and the good excuse is you know shooting people, the audience, which the audience might be looking at different uh, illusion or something pretty similar. So the reaction and the comments is something related to the performance. <coughs> but you can do this illusion on TV and pretend you're doing it in the, with hundreds of people are surround you without using actors because they actually know you not looking on this. They are not actually uh, watching this performance in, in, in reality. Um, but I'm gonna teach you right now how you can do it in real life, uh, how you can produce a, a real finger ring. You can show the empty hand and five fingers open uh, in the front of your hand and the back of your hand, and nothing around, and just catch it uh, from the thin air and produce. You can uh, appear the, the finger ring right there. And this is a, a real performance as you just as you watch it. Um, to perform this uh, amazing trick, you can also I uh, recommend you to practice it on the mirror a lot of. Um, it's pretty simple actually, but it's only uh, in the invisible thread. And when you do this kind of romantic illusions, it's not too much lights around, so it's gonna help a little bit more. Uh, I have it right behind my hand. But from this view, nobody see it. Um, when you close your hand, oh, don't close, don't close it actually. Um, the only tricky part is just switching the, from the back to the front. So it's now in the front. 
So when you show the front and you show the back, uh, I try to bold my hand so they don't see you is switching hand like that and let it drop from the back to the front. And this is pretty neat illusion without using smoke and without using sleeves, which I don't recommend anybody to use sleeves, of course, because the first thing people would think is you is coming from the sleeves, you know. That's why um, is I'm using an invisible thread. I'm gonna tell you in a minute how you can get invisible thread, but let me explain to you right now how I, I did it using invisible thread. I just do a loop ab about that size, uh, and it goes right uh, around my thumb, so it's not too loose, but you can have better control uh, when you use the, the uh, small size. And when I use uh, invisible thread, I use tape. You can use tape at the end, so because it's too thin and it's kind of you know complicated to really see the ends or see just the, the thread, the invisible thread. Um, but use a, a scotch tape and put it at the end, so you can uh, do a loop around, and it's gonna be easier and better for you to see. It's good to use at least um, like three or four loops, the invisible because this is nylon and. Um, it's kind of hard to 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 really tie it up um, because you cannot do a lot of pressure. So you always do like about three or four, at least four. If you can um, four loops, and that's it. Just put it right by hand. And the loop is that the thicker part of the of the string of the thread. Um, you can just leave it surround. Um, something close the, the engagement ring so it's, it's more hided so, so it's not in the finger now the invisible thread is, is really hard to see in a medium light source and you know this is a secret of many people they don't, want, they don't even want to tell you actually and for obvious reasons the stores magic stores they get a, the invisible thread for, from these uh, sources this is the woolly nylon thread this is the well regular woolly nylon, um, and this is the extra woolly nylon. Uh, let me put a white paper over here so you can see better. Um, so you can see the thickness. You see a huge difference right here. Um, the, the, this one is a, a, a thousand meters, and this is just three hundred meters. But why? Well, because this is an extra, this is three times stronger. And if you buy woolly nylon for, so you can get, I mean, thousands of performances uh, without, you know, expending too much money. And the extra is, like I said, three, three times um, stronger. And it's much better, the extra. Don't buy just the woolly nylon. Buy the extra woolly nylon. And this is like about $4.99. I get it at $4.99. And this is a great way you can get it as much as you want so far. Um, in magic stores, they sell it to you for $2.99, 10 feet. Well, it depends the magic store. Um, let me show you the difference right now between the extra and the woolly nylon and regular woolly nylon. And as you can see, this one is the extra. Um, it's really flexible and it's uh, much better because the woolly nylon, uh, the regular woolly nylon um, is uh, really f f uh, flexible and you can break it up pretty easily. Now this is the invisible thread and, and you know in each piece um, you can get uh, like about 80, I believe like 20 of them and um, you can get one of the strings and take one um, And I don't know, uh, let, me, let me even show you the, the single string, uh, which is, that's why it's good to use a scotch tape at the end of them, so you can see, you can handle it uh, much easier. That's the extra woolly nylon. Okay, and this is the, and this is the regular woolly nylon thread. So here you can see a, Yes, huge difference. You can pretty easily break that up. That's why I prefer the extra. And it's 
invisible as well. Um, it's pretty hard to see you. And see, I just break it again. So it's really uh, not to handle for a good, um, for secure performances. So I always use the, the extra woolly nylon and it's much better. And you know, if you feel if you are, you don't have time, you don't want to buy just for a performance. Uh, you can get any nylons, uh, ladies nylons. Um, and you can, I'm going to explain that in other videos. Um, you can get a, a little piece. This is, uh, you can get a, actually elastic invisible thread from the nylons. Uh, this, this one has 18% expandex, 12% I believe. But expandex is one of the more resistant invisible threads. Now, um, <laughs> you, can get, you can even get two for a dollar. Uh, in uh, why would I buy it? Well, ev everywhere, pretty much dollar store, uh, anything. You can get you can get these little pieces. You can even get over here and uh, invisible thread nylon, which is made of 100% um, hundred percent nylon, and get uh, just a little piece because it's just you know around the fingers, which is not uh, for a large performances. And if you if you do it, you can even uh, film it. Or uh, your fiance or your girlfriend right in front of you, and the camera right in the side, so you can do it for the camera and your fiance in real life, and you know um, share it with people when you want to. And that's it.